Alright, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX to solve this kind of integration questions. So let's have a look at the first question. The first question they say is they want to integrate x from 1 to 3, which is the definite here. And then dx means in terms of x. Alright, so if you do this kind of question manually, right, the integration law terrorist what? Terrorist if you want to do any integration, the power will be always plus 1. Like this is power 1 in the net. So 1 plus 1 will give you 2. Divided by total power you have, which is 2 here. And then I will put my number 1 and 3 at the back here. So what does the 1 and 3 here mean is, basically you need to plug in the 3 into the x here, minus you plug in the 1 into the x here. Uh, to solve it. So if I sub the 3 into the x here, I will get something like 3 square over 2 minus 1 square over 2. So if I solve this one, it should be 9 over 9 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is 8 over 2, isn't it? 8 over 2, which is 4. Alright, so if you want to use a calculator to check whether our answer is correct or wrong, so there's a technical the patterns of for integration so you can see the integration button here and then you will see we have a x button here so I will just tap the x you don't need to tap x power 1 you just leave the x here then I will press next to go into my number from 1 to 3 and then I tap equal then the calculator can easily get my answer which is 4 here okay let's check out the second type of questions so if you have the question like this, you cannot straight away integrate because in integration world, we do not have the product rule. Yeah, so what we will do is we kind of need to expand the bracket first, then we multiply our x into the bracket. So this is what happens. So this is from 0 to 2. You realize I still continue to draw the integration sign because I haven't started to integrate. I just simplify it first. So if I expand this bracket, I will get 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Okay, now I will multiply my x into every single one before I start to integrate. So I get x minus 2x squared plus x cubed. Alright, then I will start to integrate. So when I start to integrate, I will use this bracket to represent it. So this is x, right? So it gives us x squared over 2. And then minus, this one is 2x squared, right? Power plus 1 becomes x cubed divided by total x power you have, which is 3. This is x power of 3, right? Plus 1, which is 4 divided by 4. Alright, and then the questions actually tell us uh, the number, the limits here is 0 to 2. So that means I need to sub the 2 into the x here, and then minus, I sub the 0 into the x here. But luckily, we sub the 0 into the x here, we basically get 0, so we kind of just need to focus at 2 here. So I can solve this one by using the calculator real quick. So I will just type 2 square, and then I will just type 2 square over 2, minus, and then 2, and then this is, 2 power of 3, right? Then you can put the bracket 2 power of 3 and then over 3 and then plus x power of 4, right? Our x is 2 within it, so it will be 2 power of 4 and then over 4. Yeah, this one should be my answer because I will get something like 2 over 3 minus 0, isn't it? So my final answer will be just 2 over 3. But same thing, I want to know whether my answer is correct or wrong. So I will go into the integration button here. Then I will just insert x exactly like what I uh, see from the equation here, minus x square. All right, and then I press next to insert my number from 0 to 2. And then you see, I will easily get the answer correct which is 2 over 3 all right then we go to the last type of the question for this video all right so this is answer is just 2 over 3 okay if we have the expression like this same thing over here we don't have the per, uh, quotient rule for integration so kind of we need to like simplify it first so if we simplify so what we will do is we just will make like 4x cubed divided by 2x squared 
minus 1 over 2x squared and then dx. Alright, then I will just further simplify here. x squared and x cubed, I simplify at level x power 1. 2 and 4, I simplify at level 2 here. So this one will give us 2x. And then this one is a bit special. So normally how I will write for this one is I will write the negative half. Then, and then I will have another 1 over x squared over here. Right? So it's x power of negative 2 dx. Alright, then only I start to integrate here. So if I integrate 2x will give us 2x squared divided by 2 because x is power 1 plus 1 divided by 2. And then 2 and 2 I can simplify. Alright, I left an x squared here. And then this one is minus half. I will just copy. Negative 2 plus 1, you get negative 1. And then you kind of need to over negative 1, right? But I will not write the over negative 1 here because I will just multiply negative 1 into the minus here, become plus. Alright, so I have the number from 1 to 3. From 1 to 3. Alright, then I will insert the 3 into x here and then I insert the 1 here. So this one I give me 3 square plus this one will be half and then 3 power of negative 1. 3 power of negative 1, you can straight away do 1 over 3. Alright, then I minus, I sub the 1 into here, which is 1 plus 1 over 2, and then 1 power of negative 1 is just 1, so which is 1 over 2. So over here, we basically we have 9 plus 1 over 6, because 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 6, all right, and then minus 1.5, all right, 1.5. Okay, the answer here will be 20, 23 over 3. Same thing, we will always use uh, this button to check whether our answer is correct or wrong. So normally, if I have the question like this, right, I will just use the fraction first, and then type 4x cubed, which is shift square, and then minus 1 over 2 x square and press next and then next one more time to insert the 1 to 3 all right and then i will get a final answer 23 over 3 all right so this is how easy we can use the calculator to solve this kind of integration questions anyways i hope you find this video helpful to you i will see you guys in the next video so if you are interested to buy this calculator I will share the Lazada link at my description below. The link will bring you to the Casio flagship store because right now, uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.